Let me show you how to spice your images by adding some light overlays over the top and change the mood of the image completely in a matter of few seconds. Let's jump straight into Photoshop and let the fun begin. I will show you a few examples today. I have some cool images to work on today, as you can see, and uh, all of them are pretty flat, so we will change the mood uh, by adding just those overlays. So let me show you how it's done. I know that you want to work on this image because it's more attractive for you guys. So let's start with this one. We have a lot of things going on here, but I will com uh, start completely from scratch. I just want to show you what uh, we will achieve. So for example, this result, or this result, or this result, or this result, you can see how you can completely change the mood of the image really easily. So first thing that we need to do is to get some light overlays. And for that, let me show you right here, I will go for uh, to Envato elements. And uh, I will download some of these I just typed window overlay, but you can type whatever you want. This is in the shape of windows and there are a lot of different overlays shadows pack, and a lot of cool things here. And I can grab this one, for example, and just download it right here and save it on the computer. And by the way, Envato Elements is the sponsor for today's episode and you can find a lot of cool overlays there and also snow overlays and rain overlays and whatever you want. They have millions of stock photos, stock videos, audio files, sound effects. They have my favorite part, amazing library of 3D models and you can rotate them and position them in any position or rotation that you want that you need for your photo manipulation and you know that I'm using them extensively. I highly recommend them and they're pretty affordable. The annual plan is only $16.5 per month. You have the link down there in the description. You can try it for yourself, see if that's something that you like to use. And also you have unlimited downloads and everything is licensed so you're covered completely. And uh, now uh, we will grab not this, but we will grab some of these light effects and let's go back to the Photoshop and let me show you. So for example, I will go with a uh, few of them. Let me bring this here. So I have this, I have this, I have this. So whatever we want, we can grab it. I like this one, for example, or also this one. There are a lot of them and you can download a bunch of them and just position, just place overlay over the top of the image. That's it. Just, just drag it across the image like this and you're almost done. It's really simple and easy. Now, if you just put this overlay into overlay blending mode, because it's overlay, overlay blending mode, or soft light, we will already have some cool result, but it's not there. We need to change the file uh, below that overlay a little bit just to lower the exposure down. So I will copy it, control or command J, right click, and you can dial the exposure down however you want. I will go with the uh, camera, I will convert to smart object, then camera filter, where it is, it's a uh, here, um, camera, and here I will just dial approximately something like this. So I just want to be darker, like it's in a dark, and maybe a little bit of the contrast, maybe less saturation, because overlay blending mode will boost and saturation up. So this is one way how you can do it, all right? Let's press OK and you will see immediately, bam, that's it. It's amazing. If you want to make it brighter because it's a smart object, we have smart filters. You can just double click on this, go back to camera and just dial exposure a bit up. Maybe you want brighter. OK, let me show you. Really cool. Also, another uh, way how you can spice this even more is I will show you. Let, let me show you on another example. Uh, first here we can we can go with uh, layer mask and I already made a layer mask of the model and just change the background color to something else and spice it even more. So see, this is before. Okay, it's a beautiful lady, cool photo, but you can agree with this, it's even better. Also, we can use different overlay. So just different overlay and it's in overlay blending mode or this one or this one or whatever you want and you can move it across the image and do whatever you want. Let me show you on this example what else you can do to make it even better. But everything is really simple and easy and you can spice your images a lot. So basically we have this file right here. It's already smart object you see by uh, this icon right there. And I will right click, not right click, I will go to filter and uh, camera and just dial the exposure down. Again, same procedure. So go something like this, lower the situation a bit, maybe 
boost the highlights a little bit, maybe a little bit of the contrast. Everything is personal preference. You just need to experiment and see. So this is it. It's dark version, but if you go with the overlay, bam, amazing. Just, just see guys, uh, let's make a copy of this. So, uh, come on, where is it? I want to duplicate, duplicate layer. Okay. I want to hide this. All right. And this, this is before it's really nice photo, really cool, but you can spice it, add a mood and change the mood completely. So this is really, really cool before and after. And also, again, you can then color correct it or color grade it to have totally different tone and even add more uh, drama to the uh, look or change it to whatever side you want. Also, I have another photo here. See, this is before really nice photo, but with the camera and overlay amazing. And also this overlay is a little bit bigger. So we can, we can move it across the scene. Maybe like this, maybe we want something like this. Isn't this amazing? It's really simple. Now let me show you another trick here that you can do. So for example, let's go with uh, this beautiful lady. So let's go like this. And we can make a copy of the same overlay control or command J. All right. But instead into overlay blending mode, go to soft light. It's a little bit washed out. Don't worry. And uh, now I will double click on the layer, go to blend if right here. And I will change this and I will press alt or option key, go all the way up to the end and then play with the darkness. So I don't want this to affect the shadows as much as highlights, something like this, maybe press. Okay. And you can always go back here. Uh, double click and move this. This is non-destructive. It's amazing. And you can nail down, uh, nail, da, dial down the opacity. You understand that. Oh okay, yeah, dial down the opacity. And this is before, this is after. Just this small change sometimes can have really nice impact to your image. So let's, let's go back here. Let me show you. Let me show you, for example, with this one. I will make a copy, put it in the soft light. Again, it's cool in, on, on this example, maybe it's better. So this is before, this is with a copy and the soft light blending mode and then double click Alt or Option key, drag it, drag this. I want this all the way up. So with this, we are just removing a, this effect, the new layer to affect the shadows on the image below. So really cool, maybe like this, but it will affect highlights. And let me show you before, after before, after. I really love it. And again, overall, it's uh, like this. And before now, see, big change. And also let me show you on, yeah, on this image is really cool too. So before and after this small change. And on this one also can be really cool. So let's, let's drag one overlay that maybe this one is cool. So let's see, let's drag this one. Just drag and drop it. It's so easy like that. And I will show you another way how you can control even more, how you can have even more control over the thing. So this is overlay, needs to be in overlay or soft light blending mode. So overlay, for example, the image is too bright. I will make a copy, control command J, put it into smart object and then go back to my camera, dial down the exposure and saturation a bit, press OK. Let's see really cool result. But now we can do differently. We can say control or command on a Mac, click on the layer to load this as a mask and either fill it here with black or just go here and create a layer mask. Hide this one. Okay, we need to we need to invert it control or command I and we have the same effect. But with that difference that here this layer will co control the highlights and we can then add maybe vibrance or whatever and boost. See the saturation of the highlights, do whatever we want here. With that, you can control what you see in the shadows, what you see in the highlights. And maybe on this, you want to have a little bit more saturation in the shadows. So you can go back to camera, boost the saturation up. Maybe, maybe it's too dark for you. No problem. Bring the exposure a little bit up. See, you have even more controls over the shadows and highlight separately. And maybe if you don't like this uh, overlay, you can go and uh, get another one. Let me show maybe with, uh, let's see, let's see, I have one that I 
like also I like this one so let me bring it up here and uh, like this and if you want to have it on the layer mask just right click delete this layer mask control click on this one hide it create layer mask you can create it by holding alt or option key and in that way you don't need to invert anything so this is also cool uh, you can unlink the icon between the mask and the layer and then you can transform this separately you can put it like there and this is another cool way you can uh, you can change whatever you want here maybe you don't want this to be visible on these parts here so let me let me show you here because it's on a different side from the light where the light is hitting so maybe this won't be visible so you can manually dial this down but see there are a lot of things that you can do here and with practically matter of seconds you can just change see you can maybe dial this down a little bit but there are a lot of options here you can change from this to this really easily or or, or this overlay right right there let's hide this or this for example or whatever so again we have this beautiful lady we have this beautiful lady and this beautiful lady and you see the results before and after just by applying these overlays and Vado Elements has a bunch of these overlays you can create uh, manually some of them if you want in any shapes you can also grab some overlays of the leaves of the plants or whatever and add some really cool shadows there change the mood it's amazing really simple but as you can see it will uh, drastically change the look of your image and make it even more dramatic more interesting and uh, for some images that works perfectly for some less for some doesn't work at all but you can experiment this is one way how you can do that if you didn't know this is something new that you learned today also check out the link down there in the description and uh, try Envato Elements and see if that's something for you. I'm highly recommending it. Right guys, if you want to learn more about photo manipulation, color grading, check out this video right here and see you next week in next one episode. Bye bye.